So I'm back at work now after uh, Microsoft Ignite and a short PTO the week after and uh, came right into another live event where we demonstrated some of the uh, mobile app functionality that's uh, built into you know the, the Intune capabilities as well as Microsoft Outlook, Teams, Yammer, OneDrive, all of those uh, mobile apps. And we live streamed it on Yammer, of course, and we had about 500 people show up to this one virtually and watch with us. And I just kind of wanted to show what that looked like on um, my setup here as far as like how it's all wired up as well as how I did like the OBS setup here um, because like I think it worked out pretty good and it was kind of an interesting use case because I was showing my phone like I'm showing right here on the side. Uh, I've got my phone screen actually presented through and I think that's that's not really a common setup so I figured I'd kind of talk about how I did that. So what you're looking at right now is the live scene and I'm recording it right now on the OBS setup so you get like the full scene here but I'm also recording on my Osmo Pocket down here, the, uh, the little mobile camera so I'll be able to take it and um, move it around. So I've got the Osmo Pocket right here doing face tracking and we're gonna take this through the setup. I'm gonna do the hardware setup first then show you the uh, software setup that we've got going and then um, show you like how I actually set it up and I'm gonna go live on Yammer and actually stream something for like a minute or two just to see how it goes. So let's go ahead and flip this camera around and start looking at the setup. So this is my view as the producer and the presenter of this uh, particular live event. Basically, I don't have any slides or anything like that so I'm running everything from my iPhone and my iPhone is connected to the streaming computer over this Lightning HDMI adapter. And this Lightning cable, this HDMI cable, is running along here to this guy, the Elgato um, HD60S. So this is my capture card that is grabbing the phone screen and piping it into OBS. Um, the second capture card that I have going, that first one is plugged in right here to USB number one. The section, second one is for the uh, camera. So I've got the G85 mirrorless camera here. I've got the, uh, the 12 to 60 lens on it, the kit lens, so I could turn it and get it like a real wide, nice wide shot. And this is coming out via mini HDMI. Coming into this is a Magewell um, USB capture device and um, that works really, really well. And it's doing USB three out into input number two. So that's my screen, my camera. The third thing is the audio that you're listening to right now. I'm using the Rode Wireless Go lavalier system. That is hooked up and is to this little lavalier mic right here. So I've got this little Sony lav going down my shirt, my Year of Yammer shirt, of course. And flip this around, the receiver is right here. So there's the little Rode receiver. Um, typically I'll also have this plugged into power as well so that I don't run the battery down too bad. But that's coming into this USB audio adapter. So I'm coming out of there into the mic port and then out of the speaker plug, I have this cable running down here to my Microsoft Surface headphones so I can monitor that and you know make sure everything sounds good. Typically, what I also do is I will um, send the feed to a demo group first. I'll get everything all set up and then I'll, um, I'll go ahead and live stream like a minute or two just going through the scenes and then I'll listen to it back and make sure that it sounds good and then not touch anything. I'll point it to the, uh, the real stream that it's gonna go to, the real Yammer group, and then I'm good after that. So the last piece of this puzzle here is, I guess there's two pieces, is the Stream Deck. That's the last USB device that is plugged in. And I'll show you what those scenes look like. I've got pre-show, live, screen only, camera only, and end. And then I can mute the screen and the microphone and I can control whether or not the stream is actually on or off. Then the last component is this. I've got a USB-C to Ethernet adapter so that I'm connected hardline to the network at work. So I'm gonna set this Osmo Pocket down and go back to 
the OBS screen. I guess I can't really show the elements here super, super well. But what we've got here, this is the live scene. So this is kind of home base for me. And what I do is I have the camera. I was able to do like a larger widescreen camera because the, uh, the phone screen is, is so skinny right there along the side. But I grabbed a PNG file of an iPhone 10R frame. And that way I was able to put the screen capture on the screen and then put that image over the top of it. And um, because it's transparent in the middle, it was able to cut that out. So you, it looks you know, like a phone, which is really pretty awesome. So there's my, my phone set up and I can open up Outlook. And the thing that I demoed here was um, the uh, Play My Email feature that was released two weeks ago at Ignite. So I got that. I got this banner, it was navigating technology. This was about associate mobility, it's for Q4 2019. Then I got my name and my title right there with the uh, Cerner logo. So that's my, my kind of home base scene. And you see I've got all my sources right there, that phone frame, the microphone, my name, the background for that like name tag, if you will, and then uh, the camera set up as well. I'm gonna go ahead and start the, uh, the audio for this so you can see how it sounds compared to my, um, my voice coming through the microphone. We're gonna to listen to Cortana for a second. One new email for you. This'll take a couple of minutes. About 20 minutes so ago, you can see Melanie that's Taylor wrote- What Cortana sounds like next to, um, next to the setup. Now for the pre-show entertainment, basically what I've got here is on the stream deck, I press pre-show. And the way that we start this out is the pre-show scene here basically has a countdown timer right here. That countdown timer counts down from 15 minutes. I'm also playing some audio and video through here so people can make sure they know what it sounds like. Typically, I don't have the microphone on there. What I, I have the microphone on right now so you can hear me talking right now, but I'm gonna stop for a second and have you listen to what the pre-show sounds like. You can um, configure any of your personal accounts alongside your Office 365 account, whether it's G So that's basically what happens. It's a bunch of videos about Outlook Mobile where we're showing people tips and tricks for Outlook so they have something to watch while, they are, um, while they're waiting for the stream to start. Once that hits zero right there, what we do is we press the live scene right here. And once we go live, now we've got back to my home screen where I've got the video camera, the iPhone next to it. I'm able to plug in and off uh, iPhones and show what that looks like and um, do like an Intune enrollment, stuff like that. And then at the very end, what I was able to do is click the end scene right here. When I click that, that goes to this end card. Again, I normally don't have the microphone here. I would not have that source but I have that so you can hear what I'm saying right now. But the end card basically is no audio whatsoever. It's just thanks for attending. And then I've got a QR code right here that um, whenever people scan that, they can, um, they can basically uh, uh, take a, a Microsoft form survey that's like, how was the audio quality? How was the video quality? What did you think about the presentation? What topics do you wanna see? All that cool stuff. So I'm going to flip back to the live scene and set this down. And we're going to talk about um, how I actually like connect this to Yammer and actually show that setup. So I'm going to see if I can hopefully get this to where you can see the, the laptop screen pretty well here. There we go. And basically I have pre-created a, a test event, but I have this like demo Yammer group right here and along the side we click create live event. I hit next and then I gave it a name and I hit schedule. So that is what this testing one, two, three event is. Then once I opened that up, I hit start setup immediately. And then under here in just URLs, that's where you're gonna copy that first URL right there. I go into OBS, I hit um, settings. And then under the stream, I clear this out, paste in that, that stream URL, 
And then I just type the word key. There's no actual stream key for Microsoft stream videos. So it doesn't matter what you put in there. You just need something. And now that that is all set, now I can hit the button down here for off. That will turn the stream on. And then we'll get my, my screen back here. And you'll see right here that green dot has started. So the little green box is on. I've still got my, my camera or my, my phone all set up. Everything's looking good there. I'll flip back over here. And it says it's ready to connect in oh, about like 30 seconds or so. It should um, pull that feed and recognize that it's getting something from OBS. And it says that it is now. So I'll hit start event here in a second whenever I actually see my live uh, video showing up. So there it is. There's the live feed. It's, you know, about 30 seconds behind or so. And I'm going to go ahead and hit start event. Now that I have started this event, it's going to show up along the side right here, the little like bars. And then realistically what I do is I just flip back to OBS and I run everything through OBS. I should have mentioned that what I normally do is I will hit start up, I'll get everything connected, and then I'll go over here to the pre-show screen. So it's like counting down from, from 15 minutes. And then what I'll do is I'll just let this sit for like a few minutes until it's showing on this screen. Then I'll click start event. That way I start the event with this nice little title screen. And basically we're on this timeline at this point, no matter how delayed it is from OBS to uh, Yammer, I'm on this timeline. So as soon as this comes down to zero, then I would click the live scene and now I'm live. Now I'm talking to people um, and we're getting questions from, answer, from Yammer. We're doing a Q and A through the Yammer comment features and um, it's all being done through Microsoft Stream. And then at the end of that stream video, I will usually click the end scene. Then uh, I'll let that sit for like about a minute or so. So people have a chance to, you know, um, scan the QR code. It's got some time for the, the feed to catch up. And then I'll go stop the event. I'll go end the event on the Microsoft Stream uh, on the Yammer side right here. And um, then it's available immediately in Microsoft Stream. People can go get it. And usually what I'll do is I'll take that, that stream video, I'll copy the URL, then I'll go into the last comment on the Yammer uh, event and I'll post that as like, hey, here's the recording. Here's where the, um, the video is in case you missed it so that people don't have to like know that they have to get into the event and then watch the video. Normally what I'll do is I'll just put it there so it's like a nice thumbnail that they can, they can play it right there. So that's my setup for a Yammer live event. And uh, that's, I think, all that I wanted to show today. A little bit of a unique use case with a, uh, with a phone instead of a typical laptop. Basically, if you were gonna do a laptop instead of having the phone right here, you would just plug this in USB-C into like a MacBook or something like that. And then I would have a little MacBook um, thing right here. I'd have like a, a bigger widescreen right here and then a smaller little thumbnail of my face. That way um, it fits side by side. But since it's so skinny, I made this a little bit bigger so you could kind of get more of a sense of what was going on in the room. So that is it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment or uh, send me a, a post on, uh, on Twitter. I'm happy to explain any of the stuff that I've got hooked up and uh, help others out there.